What's up? Today we're going over the four edit modes in Pro Tools. Shuffle mode, slip mode, spot mode, and grid mode. All right, let's go over the different modes in Pro Tools in the edit window. All right, so in the top left corner, you can see that there are four different modes that we can use. There's shuffle, slip, spot, and grid. All right, so um, we'll go over what each of these does. Right now I have just a few different tracks here. These are the same track. I just split them into your stereo and mono, different, uh, different parts of the timeline, just so you can see what the different modes do. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is go over shuffle mode. So with shuffle mode, you just have to be careful because uh, you have to be mindful of how it works. So the way that shuffle mode works is even if these, there's things that have gaps on the timeline, if you were to click and hold a clip and drag it, it will snap that directly to the end of the last clip, right? So if I had this down here, if I drag it down here, it would snap right to the end of this. If I drag this up here, I could do the front or the end of it and things will move on the timeline. If I were to bring this up to this, this track here, this will actually push that clip back like that. Right, So you just have to be really careful about um, when you're using shuffle mode. Another thing that if I have, if I select on the timeline and I hit delete, this will snap to the end of that part that I deleted to where it'll leave this much room plus this much room of the things that's not selected. So it'll roughly end up here and it does, right? So that is what shuffle mode is. It has its uses, but um, I try not to use it too often just because of uh, it can mess up the timing of things. So just keep in mind how that works, okay? So let's move on to slip mode. This is one of the ones, slip and grid is what I work in the most. I'll show you what slip mode does. So slip mode allows you to freely move things around um, and not snap to anything at all, which is Pretty cool um, if you're just doing like vocal recording or something like that for a podcast and you're not needing to be synced to picture, like for a video or something. Using slip mode instead of grid mode allows you to get finer edits and details in there, um, which is really cool. If I didn't want to be snapped to a grid, I can just freely move this wherever I want to. So that is what slip mode is. It just allows me to slip it wherever without needing to snap to any sort of grid or any sort of um, clip or anything like that. Okay. Spot mode allows you to pick a specific spot that you'd like to move the clip to. So if I have it in spot mode right now and I click on this clip, it brings up this dialog box asking me what time I'd like to start this clip I can choose bars and beats, minutes, seconds, time code, right? Say I want to have this go to 10 minutes like this. Okay, I hit OK. And that completely moved off the screen. It is way down here at 10 minutes, right? So if I wanted to have this go back to zero, I just click on that. The dialog box pops up again. Just have it go to zero, hit OK. It should be at the beginning, and there it is. So spot mode just allows you to spot specifically what time on the, the timeline you want it to go to for that clip. All right, and then there's grid mode, which is the one I use the most, especially for video. And this allows you to snap to these grids here, these lines that are showing up on the timeline. Those are actually grids. So if I'm trying to move back and forth, it actually snaps to those grid lines, right? So that is what grid mode is. Um, the great thing about this is you can set your grid to whatever you want. Um, it's really handy for video because you can set it to frames, right? And even half frames, quarter frames, sub frames, things like that. Or if you're working on music and you're using bars and beats, you can snap it to the bars and beats. So you can have it exactly on the downbeat of something or uh, however you want to do that. 
I work in time code for pretty much everything. So that's what I'm using here. And I just have it set to one frame. So each one of these little grid lines is one frame apart. So I can just do that frame by frame in sync with the video that I have. And again, let's go back to slip mode. Even with those grids here, I'm not snapping to those grids, right? So sometimes that comes in handy with edits where I can switch back and forth between grid and slip. Um, if I want to do really fine edits and don't want to be snapping to a grid, but if I want to have something snap to the grid, I just do that, right? So there you go. If I have this spaced out again, just like this, you can see that shuffle snaps these to the end or the beginning of a clip, right? So that was to the beginning. This is to the end of the clip, right? Let's do undo. If I just wanted to get rid of space here, which is kind of cool, even though it messes up with the timing on the timeline, if I would just want to get rid of the space and didn't want to snap it to the very end of the clip, I could just make a selection, hit delete, and it snaps. Um, basically just deletes anything on that track of the space that you had selected, it deletes that space, but only for that track. So that's where it can get dangerous is if you don't have multiple tracks selected, then it will only, it will only do this track. If you have multiple tracks selected, it'll get rid of the space in every track that you have selected like this. So this clip will move up and this clip will move up like that. All right, let's undo that. Slip mode, like I said, you don't snap to anything, you're not confined to the grid at all, and you can just freely move around wherever. Spot mode, you click on a clip and tell it where to go, basically, right? So say I wanted that one hour, hit okay, zoom out, it's way down here at one hour. All right, you can see up here it's at one hour. Let's do undo in grid mode, snaps to the grid that you have selected and you can change the grid amount here. Okay, if you don't wanna see those grid lines, you can click this right here where it says grid and get rid of it. However, you're still snapping to a grid. It's just not showing the lines. I like to have the line showing just personal preference. <clears throat> but do whatever works best for you, okay? So one other thing I wanna show you is that there's actually two types of grid modes. There's absolute grid and relative grid. So right now we're on absolute grid where it's snapping to the exact grid of the timeline, right? Well, let's say I was in slip mode and I had it kinda of just like right here, right? And I wanted to move it exactly one frame over, but I didn't want to snap to this grid. I want to move it exactly one frame over. And I'm set to one frame, right, on my grid. I can use relative grid, and that'll snap it exactly one frame over. So it's not snapping to the actual grid line, but it is moving it exactly one frame, no matter which direction I move it. So it is moving within the grid amount, but it's not snapping to the actual grid lines. And go back to absolute grid, and that would actually just snap to the grid line right there, right? So again, relative grid, if I move it one frame over, see it's in between the grid lines. If I choose absolute grid, it's gonna snap to one of those lines, right? Um, just wanted to show you that if we were in shuffle mode, we hit delete. It got rid of all that space on both of these tracks or all three of these tracks. Hit undo. If you do that in slip mode, hit delete. It doesn't do that. If we're in grid mode, it doesn't do that. If we're in spot mode, it doesn't do that, right? What will happen though is if you have a clip partially selected like this and you were to hit delete, it won't move anything but it'll delete, delete whatever you have selected, right? So that is what will happen. 
Same with slip mode, that will happen. Same with spot mode, that will happen. And shuffle mode. If you do that, it'll get rid of all the selection and it'll the clip will start here and it'll be snapped over here. Like that. Okay. So that is an overview of the four different modes. There's shuffle, slip, spot, and grid mode. And we went over absolute grid and relative grid. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.